Hey guys, welcome to Lake Stevens Auto Detailing. Today we've got a heavy duty Dodge Ram 2500 with the Cummins engine. And we're going to be doing just the exterior detail. Uh, there's quite a bit of bug splatter on the front end, uh, a lot of mud splatter as well. Uh, guy goes over to eastern Washington and the mirrors are just caked. Um, the right side, passenger side, has got some uh, algae build up a little bit of moldies and uh, we'll have to take some extra time pressure washing that off the lower half of the truck is pretty dirty uh, you can tell in the close-ups uh, back side's not too bad it's more just uh, the sides are a bit dirtier and uh, the guy asked for just a quick wash on the inside of the bed so we'll do that as well and uh, these mirrors are going to need a lot of extra attention because uh, I haven't seen bug sputtered mirrors that bad in a while. But the inside of the bed's not too bad. We'll just give it a quick scrub and rinse off um, the mud flaps, uh, wheel well kind of area, and the wheels and tires were pretty filthy. Um, so they're going to take quite a bit of scrubbing to get clean, but uh, we'll do the best job we can get this thing shining up as much as we can. Because there was so much mud and um, dirt splatter uh, all over kind of the wheel well area and the mud flaps uh, I gave it a good pressure wash before I went in there with the DIY detail all clean and scrubbed up the wheels tires and ender fender liner area and um, then we'll give it a pressure wash and hopefully it'll all look nice and clean we'll move on to the next three wheels and tires Try to switch up the camera angles just to keep things interesting for you guys, but uh, I did kind of a close up of the mud flap and inner fender liner because this thing was just caked in mud and um, dirt and grit, so we needed quite a bit of pressure washing to bust that loose before we get in there with the all clean and start scrubbing on the wheels and tires and the fender liner and everything. We don't want to get uh, tons of grit and crud stuck into the uh, brush bristles, so. Anything we can do to kind of lessen making a gritty mess out of our wash bucket and wheel and tire brush, uh, we'll do what we can. If you're enjoying the detail so far, feel free to hit the like button and even uh, subscribe if you'd like to. And I've also got Amazon affiliate links in the video description, so feel free to check those out as well. Thanks. Originally the guy said uh, he was going to have the canopy on there, so I was expecting to just detail the outside of the canopy, and um, I guess he decided to take it off. So we're just uh, giving this a quick rinse off, getting any loose dirt and grit and rocks and stuff blasted out, and then we're going to just scrub it real quick with the wheel and tire fender liner brush and uh, rinse it out and call it good. So we'll just give it a quick clean and move on to the next spot. I'm curious, when you guys detail um, trucks, do you typically do anything with the inside of the truck bed? Um, and if so, do you normally scrub it out like this, or do you just uh, skip it unless the customer specifically asks for it? Um, I don't charge any extra for cleaning inside the truck bed, because uh, it was kind of like the trunk area for any other vehicle. But if there's a canopy or a tonneau cover or something like that that I've got to clean as well, if they want the inside clean, then I do charge extra just because it takes extra time. So I'm curious, what do you guys normally do? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Now that we're done blasting the wheels and the tires and the inside of the truck bed, we're going to move on to uh, dry spraying the foam uh, cannon 
soap on there, uh, get that grit and uh, <clears throat> junk kind of breaking down and dropping off the truck. And uh, then I'm going to just start uh, pressure washing and blasting in the seams where there's any little mouse algae grit uh, built up. Um, just trying to get that knocked loose before we move on to the contact wash. Uh, just minimize any scratching potential that we'll have. The side was a bit worse for um, just kind of mold at the build up on the like around the door handles around the body panel seams uh, the window sills and uh, a little sun visor cover the top side that had some build up on there so I just had to face some extra tension pressure washing that and um, now we'll get in there with the contact wash and start washing the truck get it all nice and clean Kind of just some areas that needed to get scrubbed, um, so I just used my detail brush, got in there and agitated around those uh, problem areas uh, just to get some of that loose dirt and uh, moss and what have you built up around some of those edges uh, broken free and then just went in there and continued on with the contact wash here with the microfiber wash mitt. This lower quarter of the truck was pretty filthy, so I had to go over it multiple times just to ensure that I got all the junk uh, cleaned off the truck. And I ended up going over with the clay towel a few times on the lower panel as well. Since the sun was out pretty decently, um, I kind of sectioned out the truck and did it <clears throat> um, sides, sides, and then the front and the back, um, just so I wasn't having a bunch of soap drying, kind of battling with all that. Um, so I just going in there with the detail brush, getting in to some of those little nooks and crannies and things, and um, getting everything broken free so we can get this thing nice and cleaned up and working my way from top to bottom here uh, trying to keep with uh, up and down motions on the hood and that's uh, going to minimize any scratches here so that'll be the way that I like to wash and then the bumper is just uh, usually side to side because that's the easiest way to keep the wash mitt and I do use my wheel and tire brush on some of the chrome accent and the grill um, that helps get in there real uh, a little more deep like than the microfiber towel. Then I go over some certain areas where there was a lot of bugs, bug splatter with the uh, blue mesh um, scrub pad, which is extra soft, but it does a good job of knocking off those uh, bug guts and things that are sometimes stuck on there pretty good.
Right, so now that we're done with the wash process and the clay uh, rinsing, we're going to go on to using the DIY uh, Detail Ceramic Gloss, which is a drying aid, and uh, we'll get some clear coat protection applied and um, get this vehicle dried off and get some tire shine on there in just a little bit and get this thing looking about as good as it's going to get. pays to double check um, some of the hard to reach areas just to make sure you don't miss anything. Uh, I just went over and double checked over the mud flap areas and little stainless steel little um, end pieces and just wiped all four mud flaps and got them looking as clean as we can. Uh, I definitely don't want to miss those areas. They were washed but um, they didn't get as clean as they could so we're just uh, going over there with some um, speed detailer and uh, microfiber cloth and get them all wiped up clean. Since these truck tires are fairly large, um, we're just spraying some of the tire shine directly on there and then we'll use the uh, tire shine dedicated brush on there to apply it uh, evenly and throughout the entire tire um, with the knobby kind of treads on there and the uh, uh, just large aspect ratio of truck tires. I always like to use the uh, my dedicated uh, tire shine brush on there. It just saves a lot of time. So here we're all done with the truck here. We got all the bugs off there. You can see that those are all cleaned off there. Chrome's looking nice and shiny. Uh, we had to end up going over the uh, both the mirrors about three times trying to get all those scrub clean. Uh, the mud flaps and inside is looking way better. You don't see all that mud splatter on there. And the mirror's all clean. Everything's looking uh, pretty ship shape. So let me know in the comments how do you guys think this uh, exterior detail turned out.